This is a good game for Hunter and Central. Both teams really both at the same uh, level of difficulty for each other. I think this will be a good game. It's going to be tough for Central to pull off a win here. As we said before, Voorhees 9-4 and four coming in. And Hunter and Central on their last game, um, Central played Wall Kill uh, Valley, and they won 5-2 on that one. And then Voorhees played Warren Hills. They lost 2-1, and that was their third win of, or third loss of the season. So Hunter and Central look to rebound, and so do Voorhees. As they line up to the field now, Central still in their huddle. Voorhees getting in their positions. Everything getting set here now for Hunter and Central. Voorhees is going to be a tough team to beat. They have a lot of intensity, a lot of pace. Game before the Warren Hills, Voorhees won 6-1 over North Hunterdon. Hunter and Central before their Walk Hill Valley game, they won three. Uh, they lost three two over Pingree. Central will face after Voorhees. They'll face Ridge, and for Voorhees, they will face Phillipsburg. All set here, and we're underway here at Stewart Field. It's live on HCTV. Hunter and Central on their way. That was number 16 for 100 Central, Nikki Pep. Ball still in play here. Looks for an option to play back. Now through again. Before he's looking to recover it here. Quick foul, and here 100 Central have another chance. They get set again. Trying to break through here is Central. Voorhees defense pushing up now. Regain possession. Voorhees trying to get on the attack quickly. Now down here to number six for Hunter and Central. That's Rachel Stone. Voorhees gets set. Skies it over. And there will be a foul, and Hunter and Central will take it here quickly. Well, trying to get floated through there. Or he's regained. Central trying to take back possession. Quick here. And now the foul goes Voorhees' way. And quickly return to the Red Devils. Central gets set again. Gonna roll it upfield to take it. Here's number two, Emily Bill. Bill to Pepe. Come Central. Ball does go out of play. Voorhees will take it. And now Central with a chance here. Ball driven out by Voorhees. Trying to stay possession now. Ball could not find its intended target. Now here comes Central. Here's Strober trying to get through. Nicely done there by the Voorhees defenseman. Ball up in the air. Foul, and now here is Hunter and Central once again. It's going to be Strober. Strober trying to play to Zubalake. Strober again. Strober trying to filter it through to Zubalake. But Voorhees regains possession. Quick here, another foul. In favor of the Vikings. And now regained by Central. Trying to get through there. They will have possession with that foul call on Voorhees. And another foul. Quickly it's Pepe again. Pepe goes through one. Sends the ball through. And that one looked to go out of play. 
Maybe not. It will be a foul on Central. Now, here come Voorhees. Gonna play it through right there. Taken away by Central. Here come the Red Devils. Trying to slip through that Voorhees defense. And another foul. Now here's Central with a chance to score. Chance to capitalize here first. It's only five minutes gone. There's Bill. That one goes all the way out of play. So nothing yet for Central. Voorhees trying to get on their attack, only maybe a few times up on their half of the field. But nothing dangerous from either side yet. Not many scoring opportunities. Ball out on Zublake. Or he's to take this one. It's number four. It's Gonzuski. Ball all the way through here now. Voorhees with a chance to get through. Pepe disposes of it. Trying to find Bill. Instead, she'll find Voorhees midfield. Here's Bill, trying to fire her way around. Bill with some pace there. Or he's trying to slip through there. That was a nice play by number 15. That was Lauren, Lauren Howarth. Foul there. Or he's slow to take it. Another foul there. Now here comes Central once again on the attack. Trying to slip it through was number 18 for Hunting Central. That was Brittany Bill. You're still Bill now. Taken away by Voorhees, but not without a foul. So, Ivan, what do you think about the team so far? It seems like they're just trying to figure out each other. Yeah, Central with a chance there. Uh, 100 Central, they're pressing more than Voorhees at the moment, but neither teams have had a quite a clear opportunity here at Zubalik, maybe trying to find one now. But right now, it's really level for both teams. Central a little bit more on the attack than Voorhees, just able to stay on their side longer. This one rolls by, and that was maybe the closest shot for uh, Central so far in the game. Voorhees, uh, as they stand, they are second in their conference, 5-1 uh, and one on the conference, as I said, 9-4 and four on the season overall. On top of them is Warren Hill, 6-0. and oh. And as for Hunter and Central, they are... Second in their division as well, three and two, and nine three and one nine three and one overall. Bridgewater Raritan lead them with a five and nothing record. So both very level teams, and we can see it here so far. With almost ten minutes gone. There's Pepe. Some contact there, so Pepe will get the foul. That one skips on by, out of play. Or he sets up. Here come the Vikings. That one goes through. Pepe trying to find an option. Quickly plays it there. That one was trying to find Emily Bill off of number six, Rachel Stone. Now here comes number seven. Here's Callie Huck. Regained there by Central, trying to get through the Voorhees defense. And there was contact there, a foul in favor of Voorhees. Central trying to press on more. Voorhees not letting them get through so far in this game. 
That one skied over. That one trying to get played through. Zoo Blake marking there. She will get possession back for Huntington Central. Zoo Blake trying to play to Bill. Now Voorhees here with a chance to maybe get a drive through. Instead, it's taken away by number 10. That was Colleen Barrett. Barrett plays it through. Huck looking to get in the middle of the field. And now it will be a penalty corner in favor of Huntington Central. Maybe a chance to capitalize here. Before he gets set. Huck to take it. Let's see what she'll pick out here. She finds Bill. Bill can't control it there. Falls back to Bill. She'll take a shot through. Blocked by Voorhees. Here comes another shot. And that one will roll all the way out of play. That was a good shot there by Brittany Bill. Brittany Bill is the top scorer on the Hunter and Center right now with 10 goals. She also has 16 assists. That's the most out of both teams. It's amazing how, she, how, how her passing has really helped this team develop. Yeah, Brittany Bell has been a driving force for Huntington Central since the beginning of the season. As you mentioned, leaders in goals and assists. She really helps Central get through these tough games, and hopefully she'll shine through here. Here's Strober couldn't handle it. Here comes number 26 for Voorhees. Now a chance... For the Vikings, that was Highland before. Or he's play it back through. Here's another ball. Ball in, but there will be a foul on that one. So that will be a penalty corner in favor of the Vikings. Over 10 minutes gone, and the Vikings with their first penalty corner of this game. They with a chance to capitalize here. Central gets set. Here come Voorhees now. Here comes a shot through. Deflected and out of play. That was nice defense there by Hunter and Central. Ogrzalik now back here. And now it looks like it'll be central to have possession here. So here come the Red Devils once again. Here's Huck trying to slip through there. Bill recovers. And here come Hunter and Central. I want to try to be played back to Bill. Pepe on the mark here. Pepe recovers. Tries to slip it through to number six, Rachel Stone. Stone trying to play to Huck. Here's Bill. Bill slides it through, trying to find Callie. On the mark is Zoo Blake on Orgazalik. Will be possession for Voorhees. Maybe not, it will be for the Red Devils, a little confusion there. Here comes Strober. Ball rolls out of play in favor of the Vikings here. It's been a really close first half. The deadlock still here at 0-0. Or he's now trying to push on more than they have in the beginning 10 of this game. That one's taken away by Stone. Stone with a little bit of space, trying to slide through here. Finds Huck. Huck trying to play it back to one of her teammates. Here comes Zubalik. Zubalik looks for an option. Trying to slip it through there for number 10 for Huntington Central. It's Colleen Barrett. Barrett controls. Voorhees takes it away. Central trying to recover through Strober. Here's Bill. Looked like a shot that was deflected off of Voorhees. 
chase it is Matias. Ball back in the middle for Huntington Central, trying to get some type of possession on it, maybe get a shot. Huck looking for it, and there will be a penalty corner, it looks like. And Huck to take it again. So maybe this time, Huntington Central has a chance to capitalize. Huck connected with Bill last time, and Bill got a shot. Let's see if she does the same here. Here's Bill. This time she'll play it back to Bill. Here comes another shot blocked again. Bill trying to get a rebound off of that one. So they're trying to keep it in their half. Another foul. Another chance for Huntington Central. Here's Zubalik. Back to Strober. So we're trying to filter it through. Finds Huck. Huck wasn't able to get much on the ball. And now Voorhees with a chance to breathe here. Here's Pepe. Plays it to Stone. Stone couldn't get through there. Or he's regains possession, but only for a moment as it finds Huck again. Here's Zubalik. Trying to find her way through. Played in now. Ball did cross the line before she got the pass in. So nothing more than possession right back to Voorhees. Will be for number 21. For the Vikings, Matias again. Here comes Central. Slip through there. Possession regained by the Red Devils with Bill. Another foul there. Right back to Voorhees. Might yes to take it. That one played through. Huck got to stick onto it. Plays through Pepe. Pepe finds Stone. Stone trying to stay with the possession here. Ball stays in play. Trying to use her pace there, Stone. Trying to whack it in. Filters through the Voorhees defense. Bill almost had a chance for a shot there. It was a foul on that one. Nothing more than Voorhees with possession. Slipped through nicely there, but possession will be taken right back to the Red Devils. Zublik to take it here. Up trying to get on the mark there. Foul called on her. This one's played all the way through. Voorhees trying to stay with this one. That it comes right back to Pepe. Nikki finds Brittany Bill. That one played in again. Emily Bill looking for an option. He's trying to slip through there. They do so. Play it down, but on the mark is Pepe trying to take away possession. Successfully, she does it. Nicely done by Pepe to get all the way through. Here comes Zublake now with some speed. Trying to slip it through. There was a foul there. Zublake plays it now quickly. Looking for an option. Trying to get to Huck. Ripped away by the Vikings. Regained by Central with Strober. Barrett trying to get on the mark of this one. Ball stays in play. Zubalik trying to steal it away. Looks like there was going to be an advantage to play to Voorhees here. Instead, they'll call it back now. As 
Voorhees resets. It's going to be Ogre Zalik. Ripped away by Central with Brittany Bill. Bill trying to slip through the defense. Almost there for Callie Huck. But instead, Voorhees still regains possession. That one played all the way back. Find Strober. Strober trying to get possession there. Here come the Red Devils. Ripped away by Voorhees. Or he's losing possession as the minutes go on. Haven't really found their groove yet in this game, but they're so far they're doing good defensively. Looks like the coach for Voorhees to have a talk with the ref. Or with one of her players. Looks like there might be an injury. Coming off for Voorhees at the moment is number 20. I didn't see what happened. It might have happened behind the play. Did you see anything, Ivan? Uh, I didn't see exactly. It looks like to be an injury of some sort. Not much reason for the coach to take off her player, but there will be a break right here. So it looks like Voorhees will take the timeout. Not exactly sure what happened with their player number 20 for them. That was Lauren Kokoski. Definitely the coach saw something. Had to pull her off. So timeout here with 10.34 left to go here in the first half. Still, 100 Central knotted up with the Vikings. 0-0. Central having some more opportunities as the minutes went on. But not much for the Vikings. Have maybe two shots on target at the most. One off of that penalty corner that they had in the beginning of the first half. It seems like both teams are still trying to figure out how to break through, their, through each other's defenses, even though Central has had a lot of opportunities. Yeah, Central leading more on the possession side. On Voorhees' defensive side, trying to sneak through the defense. Voorhees doing a great job of taking the ball right away from Central and really keeping possession away from the Red Devils. Be, Coming sure, be sure to join us at 7 p.m. where Hunting Central Girls Soccer, the Red Devils, do take on Franklin. That's a good one at 7, live here on Hunting Central Television. Right now we have field hockey still knotted up at zero. The Red Devils and the Vikings get set to take the field once again after a brief timeout. Still 10.34 left to go in this first half. Central looking to capitalize. Voorhees looking to do the same. They take the field now, the Red Devils. Girls game, the girls soccer game at seven. It is a special one. It's senior night where the seniors get honored for their teammates. Really special moments. We'll try to get that in. Starts at 7 p.m. here on 100 Central Television. As you can see in the corner of Stewart Field, the girls soccer team just arriving. As field hockey is still underway here. Chance for Voorhees now with Orgazalik. Trying to maybe get through here, filter it. Now it's with Huck. Trying to do something with it. Foul there, Orgazalik to take it quickly. Trying to send it through. Finds nothing but Hunting Central. Huck. Still with possession. Loses it there. Voorhees regains. Trying to filter it through. Here is Voorhees. Quick shot there. Blocked by the goalkeeper. 
That one looks like it rolled out of play. But there was a foul called for a penalty corner on behalf of the Vikings, so maybe another chance for Voorhees here. Running down nine minutes left to go. Chance for a shot. We'll see if they'll pass it through. Ogre Zalik now with a shot. Got blocked in between there. Central come out quickly after the foul. Trying to slip it through with Barrett. Now here's Huck. Huck trying to slip it through to Barrett. Barrett right back to Callie. Callie looking for an option. Tries to play it back to Barrett. Gonna keep her head up there. Couldn't find her intended target, but now here's Strober. Strober played all the way through to Huck. Just couldn't control it enough to get a shot. So, nothing more than Voorhees' possession. That was a great opportunity there. Great ball in. Looks like it took a bit of a funny bounce there off the stick. Couldn't control it, couldn't get a shot off. Kelly Huck really involved here in this first half. Many chances to shoot. Just overall, many great passes by her so far. Eight minutes left to go. Voorhees with a chance here. Just couldn't stick with it. Central trying to clear it out. Quick foul there. Ogre to take it quickly. Trying to get it, slip a shot through. Ball. Foul called on Voorhees. Ball did stay in play. Quickly out now by the Red Devils. This one's filtered through. Barrett trying to stay with it. Just out of her reach. Possession for the Vikings now. Mott just to take it. All the way through. That was Huck to steal it first. Quick foul. Huck still to take it. Stone, trying to slip it through, see if she can find Huck again. Still on the wing here. Was looking for Bill, instead found the Voorhees defense. Taken away by Central. Trying to get on the charge here quickly with Zubalake. Trying to slide it through. And it will be a penalty corner again. Callie Huck to take it. Six minutes left to go in this first half. Central looking for their first goal, maybe to open this game up quickly. Back to Bill. Couldn't control it there. Warriors do a great job of defending the penalty corner. Or he's trying to slip through the central defense now as they keep coming back in numbers. That's a good pass. Trying to get a shot through, and it goes wide. Voorhees so close to getting their first goal of this match, trying to break the deadlock inches wide. That was a great opportunity there for Voorhees. That's the best chance they've had this whole game. It's a great pass sent there. Voorhees just couldn't capitalize. Emily Brandt with it. She checked in earlier. Emily Brandt with nine goals on the season. Quickly ripped away there. There's a foul in favor of the Vikings. That one slipped through now. Or he's looking for a chance to get number one. There's a shot blocked. That was nicely done by Strober. Oh, 
Central to come back out with Zubalik. Not trying to get slipped through. No intended target. That one slipped through Zubalik. But all the way out of play. The Red Devils regain possession. Four left to go in this opening first half. Zubalik trying to slip it through there. Barrett now. Just not enough room for Colleen there. Possession right back with Ogre Zalik for the Vikings. Zubalik trying to keep it in. She does. Trying to slip it through to Emily Brandt. Just not enough room for her to run. That one looks like it went out of play. Or he's to sky it up. Zubalik looking for it. Here come Voorhees now. Strober finds possession. He's trying to slip it through here still. Trying to get through Voorhees, but now Central will get the foul. Zublik again. Trying to slip it through to Colleen Barrett. Here's Ogre Zalik. Central again with possession. Bad play there. Or he's trying to capitalize after that mistake. Said so now Central come out quickly. Trying to slip it through to Bill. Or he's now pressing on in these final minutes. Central trying to find their way out. Again with Zubalake. Zublik trying to keep it in play. Nicely done there, but there will be a foul called. Maybe a little bit too much body by Zublik. So Red Devils to take it now. That one couldn't get slipped in a bill, but still finds possession with Stone. Stone looking for Bill. Sends it through to Barrett. Just couldn't find her. Brittany Bill. It's a roll off of the Voorhees defense. Not a chance for him in Central. Had to play once again. Central with a minute left to play in this first half. Just couldn't find the back of the net. Same goes for the Vikings. They have been pressing on more in these final minutes. Central just trying to keep it knotted up at zero at the moment. Pepe. Just trying to get in a final attack. Or he's looking to do the same here. That one slips through Sadie Strober. She recovers. Just send it to Brandt. Quick foul there. Voorhees to take it. Ogre Zalik. Finds nothing more than Sadie Strober. Ogre Zalik once again. Ripped away by Central. Zublake now. Trying to send it through to Barrett. Couldn't control it. That one stays in play. Strober. Zublake trying to slide it through to Brandt. Brandt nowhere to be found. And just like that, this half ends up 0 0. Hunter Central couldn't find the back of the net along with Voorhees. Central maybe just holding on there in those final minutes. Great performance by both teams. Really leveled so far in this game. Corolla, how'd you see it? Uh, it seems like both teams, like you said, are both very level, very equal into the style of play that they have, and both the quality of play. It seems like uh, Central may have gotten either a bit tired or they just let up a little bit on their defense and allowed Voorhees to push a little bit more. 
but they had a lot. But Central had a lot of really, really good chances earlier in that first half. And more chances to come in the second half. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Stewart Field, where Hunt Central girls hockey team, uh, girls field hockey team, is taking on the Voorhees Vikings. Here, knotted up at zero, entering the second half. Really close game so far here we saw in the first half. Live on 100 Central TV, the Red Devils taking on the Vikings. Vikings taking the field now. Central still in their huddle. Trying to maybe get something done here. Trying to find a goal or maybe more. Trying to get maybe a few shots on target at Voorhees as they've only found the, the, uh, the goalie a few times. Excuse me. So Voorhees sets up and now 100 Central as well. Or he's the setup first. And now underway, here's the second half, 30 to go. Or he's trying to send it through quickly first here. Central regain possession with Zublik. Foul there in favor of the Vikings, quickly trying to play it through. Ripped away by Hunter and Central. Here come the Red Devils. There's Bill. Play with Barrett, now here's Huck. Huck to Stone. Here comes Stone maybe to send it through. Huck trying to maybe get a shot. It looked like a pass. Now all the way back out. Quick possession for Central here. So Ivan, do you think that any of the game plans have changed for either team going into the second half? I feel the game plan for Hunting Central maybe to press more as they started to kind of put their foot off the throttle a little bit, uh, ending the first half. So Hunting Central maybe trying to press more. Voorhees maybe just trying to keep Central at bay and maybe on some quick plays like they did show in the first half, the one real good opportunity they had, trying to get on the counterattack and quickly get those passes filtered through and try to get a shot on target. Central with Zubalik. Penalty corner in favor of the Red Devils. Callie Huck to take it. Oh, looks like the intended target for most of their penalty corners for the Red Devils is Brittany Bill. Now it's just a matter of who gets it before her and who passes it to her for her to take the shot. Instead, it'll come back to Brittany Bill. She'll pass it through. This time, it's a shot off of Barrett. They reset for another penalty corner. Huck once again. Gets set. Zublik passes it back to Bill. Bill couldn't get through. Zublik to take a shot. That one's still in play there. And finally, it does fall for the Vikings. Central trying to get to the back of the net there. Just couldn't find their way through. Now Voorhees. Now they'll go back. Quick play there. Sticks clash, another foul. They get set once again. Here comes Stone. Stone filtering it through for Huck. That one stayed in possession there. They get swept through, bound by Pepe again. Central with a chance here. Nikki Pepe gets set quickly for her. Trying to skip through the stick of one. Finds herself with another foul. Red Devils just trying to make their way through this Voorhees defense, trying to find the back of the net. Pepe gets set again. Quick play there. Couldn't get found by Huck. Now Voorhees trying to get on the quick attack here. 
Central trying to bunch up in numbers in the defense. Possession given back to the Red Devils. Brooke Reedy tries to float it over. Foul on the Red Devils. So Voorhees quickly here to take it. Trying to slip their way through. That one intended for Stone. That one filtered through and rolls out of play. Seems like we're starting a little bit again like the first half did, where it was a lot of central pressing, not much coming from Voorhees. So now, Zubalik to Bill. Bill plays it through to Barrett. Barrett back to Bill. Central with a chance here if Huck could get to it. Good defense there by Voorhees. It's back to Barrett. Huck trying to find her way through, but nothing more. Possession right back to Voorhees. All back now here, Voorhees. Foul. So Strober to take it. Zubalik. Zubalik trying to keep possession. Instead it goes back to the Vikings. Strober ends the threat. With space. Strober trying to send it through to Stone. Out of play there for Voorhees. Possession back to the Red Devils. Nicky Pepe to take it. Five gone in this second half. Trying to push through now is Voorhees. Quick play there. Trying to stay with it. Nice recovery there by Voorhees. Trying to slip through now. Foul called. In favor of the Vikings. Get set. I'm gonna send it through. Sue Blake finds it. Here's Barrett. Barrett with some pace. Trying to keep possession here. Maybe looking for an option. Ripped away by Voorhees. The visitors just trying to find their way to Central's goal. Trying to get a few shots there, maybe score a goal. Hernan Central have been on the attack a little bit more than Voorhees, but still can't find anything but a big fat zero. Here's Callie Huck. She falls down and Voorhees on the attack once again. Trying to slip it through, it's two on two. Ripped away, nice defense there. Trying to stay with Huck here. Trying to slip through the stone. Here's Nikki Pepe. Pepe trying to maybe send it through again. Looks like it touched the foot of number five, Brooke Reedy. Kicked around by her. Nicely done there. Here's Stone and then a shot by Callie Huck. But wide and nothing more than possession regained by Voorhees. Ball 
sent over. Here's Reedy. Reedy trying to stay with it. Here comes Central once again. Warriors try to take it apart. Here come the Vikings now. Trying to keep it in play. On the mark is Nikki Pepe. Quick play there, nicely done. But ripped away once again for the 100 Central defense doing their part. Zubalik. Over Zalik on her. Here's Bill. Trying to slip it through. As you were talking about that defense before, this defense for Hunter and Central has been strong the whole game. They've withstood a decent amount of pressure from the Voorhees offense, and they've stood tall throughout the whole game. And then you look on the flip side, Voorhees, their defense against Hunter and Central, as they've been more on the attack, and somehow they've been finding a way to keep Central at bay, keeping them at zero. And I think they've done a very nice job of disposing of Hunter and Central's attack. Now Voorhees here with possession. Ripped away there. Here come Hunnan Central looking for a, a teammate there. There's Stone trying to send it to number 14. That was Freeman. Back to Zubalik. And they keep possession. Looks like Zubalik gets through there. And that one rolls out of play. Quick play there, and it was a mistake. Now here's Stone. Lost control of it for a second. Stone still with a chance, trying to slip it through. Here's Freeman. Freeman back to Stone. Nothing more. Or he's back with possession. Ten minutes gone here in the second half. Back again for Voorhees. Or he's doing a nice job, of, nice job of limiting their mistakes so far in the second half. Maybe a few in the first, but doing a nicer job of having cleaner passes and cleaner interceptions. That one's stolen by 100 Central. Here's Bill trying to send it through to Freeman. Still a chance. That was Emily Bill trying to slip through a shot instead. Nothing more than a Voorhees. Uh, possession. Here come the Vikings. Nice pass there. As I said before, quick and clean passes by Voorhees. Can they keep this one in play? No, they can't. Hunting Central. Quickly played out. Chance for the Vikings, but can't find a teammate there. Really, maybe a lack of communication coming from the Vikings in these few minutes. Just not really picking their head up and looking for an option, just kind of setting it and hope it gets to one of their attacking players. Now Central with possession. Played off the foul. Rip through. Brandt trying to send it through to Bill. Over to Zalik. Trying to filter it through to her teammate. Nice pass there by Strober. And now here's Nikki Pepe. Trying to stay with possession. Foul called on Voorhees. Here's Pepe, trying to slip it through. Nicely done here by Voorhees, trying to get quickly through. Reedy loses it there. A chance for Voorhees, ripped away by Pepe. That one trying to keep it in play, Central can't do it. 
Voorhees possession once again. That one set through. Almost a chance for Voorhees. Intercepted, but a foul called. This one slips through. A chance for Voorhees here. Nicely blocked by Central, but still another chance. And just like that, Voorhees had the chance to capitalize. That was a nice save by Puskas to keep Voorhees at zero. Here comes Stone. Freeman now with a chance to run, but pulled back by the ref. Foul call on Hunting Central. Come Voorhees. Trying to slip it through. And a penalty corner. Things getting a little dicey for Hunter Central in these few minutes. Voorhees looking to get the first goal of this game. And maybe the only goal as it's been really knotted up the whole time. Penalty corner here. Trying to get a shot through. Puska stops it. Another shot and it goes under Puskas and Voorhees finds the goal. A real, a real build up by Voorhees and that one just slipped through Puskas under her legs. Real heartbreak for Hunting Central. Wait, unless they didn't call it. The Voorhees fans thought they did. Maybe there was a foul before the shot initially went through. It seemed like that might have gone off of someone's foot and then deflected into the net. That might be why they called that goal back. Voorhees thought they had the goal. The fans thought they had the goal. But how we stand, it is 0-0. But as I said before, getting Dicey front in Central, Voorhees getting more on the attack and getting these types of penalty corners, these types of shots, and just overall attacking plays. So, another... Penalty corner. Voorhees gets set. This one slipped through. There's another shot, and this time Voorhees get it in the back of the net. This one's going to count, and Voorhees gets number one, the first goal of this game. And Hunnan and Central now looking to build from downhill. That one was just a quick shot. Nothing Central could do about it there. Just nice build up by the Vikings. So Central now looking to rebound quickly. 13 minutes left in this game. Carlo, how did you see that shot? Uh, it seemed, it was a really good shot. It seemed like it was a perfect shot, low on the ground, not up, not up high, just enough speed to get under the lay and just to get by all of those, def all the Central defenders and get into the back of the net. Yeah, Puska's doing all she could there. But that one just slipped right through, as you said, a nice quick ground pass into the back of the net. So now Central looking to tie it up with the, with the minutes winding down. Warriors possession again. So as it stands, Voorhees looking for their 10th win of the season and Central going to get handed yet another loss. But Central's still on a good record. Voorhees maybe just a little bit better right now. But nothing is set in stone yet. Hunting Central on the attack. Wrong side of the stick there. Foul called on Hunting Central. That one slips through and out of play. Nicky Pepe to take it. Finds Bill, but another foul there. That one slipped all the way back to the central defense. A 
was Ogrzelik trying to get through. That one slipped through for Emily Brandt. Brandt trying to slip it through to Bill. And now regained by Voorhees, but Central looking to get possession right back. Nicely done there by Bill. Finds Brandt. Brandt looking to send Freeman. She loses possession, now looking to recover. That one goes out of play. So now Voorhees possession once again. Quick play there. On, Nicely done. Go, oh, Sammy Freeman. Now here a chance for Central. That one sent through. Voorhees defense breaks it up. That was Magliaro who sent it through. Falls right back to the Voorhees defense. Central looking to press through, trying to tie this game up quickly. Nikki Pepe. Magliaro. And another foul. Central right now is doing a very, very good job of pressing with the ball up in the Voorhees end. It does seem like, though, that Voorhees, uh, the Voorhees defenders are putting up a very, good a very good fight and standing tall during this. It looks like they've been doing that all evening against Huntington Central. Although it looks shaky at times from Voorhees, they've kept their composure, especially in the defense. And still Central just can't find the answer to that one nothing goal by Voorhees. Voorhees trying to slip through there. Bill. Trying to filter it through. Freeman got in the way of that one. Along with that quick shot, but another foul in favor of Voorhees. Voorhees trying to press on here, maybe trying to get their second insurance goal. Foul there, quick play by Voorhees. That was a nice play to get through. Finds the central defense. Boys with a chance. Trying to send it inside. Magliaro on the mark. That one's sent through. Here's Magliaro. Magliaro with some space, trying to slip it through. That one didn't work. That one slipped through. Now a chance for Voorhees here, maybe to get a shot in. Central defense take care of it, but still in play. That one slips through. And it was a goal for Voorhees, it looks like, or there was a foul on it. That one was just a foul before the shot came in. And then it was Puskas who couldn't find the ball under her feet. Gladly the foul was called before. So still at bay is Voorhees, one nothing. With 8.20 left in the second half, it's one nothing Voorhees over Hunter and Central. Quick timeout here. But this is not all the action we have tonight here on HCTV at 7 o'clock. It's the girls' soccer game. It's senior night here at Stewart Field. The girls' soccer team, the Red Devils, they take on Franklin. That one's a good one, and you should stay tuned for us live here on HCTV. It'll be me, Ivan Pores, alongside Fernando Rodriguez on the call. As we said, a 7 p.m. start. Still in the huddles, Huntington Central, just trying to answer to that one nothing goal by Voorhees. It's a nicely composed, nice finish. As Carlos said, 8.20 left to play here in this game. But Central just right now trying to get a response. That's why they called the timeout here. 
the coach can try maybe getting them to focus on the attack and really press on even harder than they have been before. Or he's getting a little bit more free on the ball. That causes problems for the Red Devils. So now Voorhees to take the field, get in their positions. Central still in their huddle. Here come Voorhees and now Central gets set. Right now, Hunter and Central going to get handed a loss. This will mean a 10 and 4 on the season for Voorhees. Right now, Central with possession. That one sent through to Brittany Bill. Here's Zublik. Foul called back on the Red Devils. Here's Emily Bill. Zublay gets through. And a foul called there. Chance for Hunting Central. Penalty corner to come. A chance for the Red Devils. See who will take it. It will be Colleen Barrett. Bill has taken most of the shots from the penalty corners. Just can't find her way to convert. Maybe this one will be lucky for her. Here comes Bill now. Pass it to Zubalek. Zubalek takes a shot. That one's blocked by Overzalek. Here comes another shot blocked again. And Voorhees clear it out. That was a great shot there by Zubalek. Foul called. Central get it back. Minutes winding down. Six left to play here in this game. Central down one nothing against the Voorhees Vikings. There's Emily Bill. Trying to get played through there. That was Brittany Bill. Quickly there. There's Freeman trying to stay with it. Ripped away by Voorhees. Regained by Central. Here's Pepe. Here comes a shot. That one's deflected. And it goes in for Hunter and Central. They get the tying goal. It's 1 1 here with five minutes left to play in this game. That was a great deflection there. Good shot. Good deflection into the back of the net. Central pushing up throughout this second half. And finally, they find their way to the back of the net. It's 1-1 here at Stewart Field. Nicely played by the Red Devils. The game isn't done yet. Five minutes left to play. Central still with a chance to maybe pull out a win here. Voorhees looking to do the same. Trying to press on here. <laughs> Quick play there. Here come the Vikings. Now here's a shot, and it goes wide for the for Voorhees. Looked like number 26 for the Vikings. Five left to play. These are the type of things Central can't let happen. Voorhees got really lucky there, and they just slipped by the defense without... Any response. Central lucky enough that the shot was wide. Magliaro. Still trying to keep it in play. Voorhees regains possession. Nice interception there by 100 Central. They come back. Now here's Bill. 
Still trying to put it through. Still with possession. Brandy coming inside. And a penalty corner for the Red Devils. So take it as Colleen Barrett. Central gets set. Looking for the second goal. Four left to play. Here comes the ball to Bill. Can't control it well. She'll send it back here. Shot there by Magliaro. Got deflected. Voorhees regained possession. Minutes winding down. This game knotted up at one now. Quick central play there. That was Freeman. Another penalty corner for the Red Devils. Central pushing on now. You can suspect that's what the timeout was about, trying to get those, you know, the pressure on Voorhees. And they've been doing a great job doing so, so far. So a penalty quarter to come now for the Red Devils. This one's sent in. Finds Brittany Bill. Bill to Freeman. Freeman with a shot, and it goes wide. That shot right there went just wide of the post. That could have gone in. That was very close. Central still pressing on. Only three left to play here in the game. Nikki Pepe to take it. She'll roll it back. It's going to be Bill. Keep possession. Foul call on Hunting Central. So now another Voorhees possession as they try to get through here quickly. Ripped away by Emily Bill. She takes a stumble there. Foul called on the Vikings. Central gets set. Here's Zubalik. Zubalik trying to find her way through. Trying to get a pass through. Ripped away by Voorhees. Here's Bill. Back to Alexa Zubalik. Emily Bill. Plays it back to Zubalik. Zubalik trying to send a ball in. Bill recovers. Sends that one all the way through. And there will be another penalty corner in favor of the Red Devils. Time it will be from the right side. Here comes the penalty corner now. Here's Brittany Bill. Zub that was Freeman, excuse me. Now Zubalik. And a foul called in favor of the Vikings. 130 left to play in the game. Another timeout called. Central just trying to find their way. They've been doing very nicely, a very nice job trying to push on against the Vikings here. <laughs> it's just come up short so far. Only 131 left to play. It's been tough for the Red Devils here. They did get the, the goal back against the Vikings after that early second half goal from Voorhees. Maybe a little talking to by the coach can get them to their second goal as it did help them get the first one. Voorhees just trying to keep this game tied up at one. But they've done a very nice job of defending the Red Devils so far. So you can see behind on the track, the girls soccer team getting set for their game here on ATTV at 7 o'clock senior night as the Red Devils take on Franklin. Now, Voorhees take the field. Central using all the minutes possible in their huddle. 
And now here they come. Tending to their positions now. Here come the Red Devils. 131 left to play. 1-1 one, one here at Stewart Field. Voorhees gets set. They'll start off with possession. Send it all the way back to the central defense. Howarth now. Could not keep possession. That was Sadie Strober. Chance here for Voorhees. Just couldn't get it through Brittany Bill, but there will be a foul called. So Voorhees regained possession that way. That one almost a mistake. Magliaro trying to put her stick out, trying to stop the play. Emily Bill. Bill with space and options. Foul there. Central pressing on, 40 left to play here. That one skips on through. Brandy Bill couldn't find it, but here's a ch chance for Barrett trying to send it through. Chance for Central now. Voorhees rips it through. Let's see if they can get it on this final attack. 19 seconds left in the game. Here come Voorhees now on the final push. Central trying to rip it apart. They do. 10 left to play. Voorhees still with possession, trying to send it through one final time. Your chance for a shot. Looking for it, and they get the shot. Voorhees find the second goal, and this will win it for the Vikings. Nicely done there. Good pressure by the Vikings on that final counterattack with only 10 seconds left to play. Point eight now. How did Central look to be finished? The Vikings, they meant business. You're right with that, that they really meant business. <clears throat> they came down hard on that press to be able to score that goal and for their just, win. Just like that, the Vikings get the late, late win over the 100 Central Red Devils. They go on to now... 10 and 4 on the season. Central go to 9, 3, and 2 on the season. Tough game for Central. Tough loss. Central found their way back up to tie it at 1 1. And then with only points, eight seconds left to play. Voorhees on that final counterattack, find the back of the net and take home a win away on the road. And they will go back to Glenn Gardner. So as for Corolla Pascal and the entire ATTV crew. I'm Ivan Pores with 100 Central Television. Be sure to join us at 7 p.m. where the 100 Central girls soccer team takes on Franklin. For now, good night.